okay so this video is the continuation of the uh, uh, app repeating section step one in step one we have seen how to save the repeating section information or the data into the SharePoint list this time we will try to retrieve the uh, delimited values and show it in the repeating section so first we will add a screen add a vertical gallery I have noted down these steps and I will put it in the comment section so first we will open our uh, project this we have already done we will skip this we will add a screen and add a vertical gallery to it and in the data source the repeating section list so the uh, company name and the phone number we don't need the picture but we will leave it as it is it is not causing any problem for us so finish this section now we will duplicate uh, screen one you can create screen three from scratch but we'll duplicate it and rename it to screen three Okay, this we will move down to so screen one, screen two, screen three. Okay, now uh, in screen three, uh, we will do gallery gallery dot selected. So this item will come from this screen's gal gallery dot selected so gallery two dot selected dot title gallery okay and this will be gallery two dot selected dot 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 what is the other is phone if you remember our list uh, I'll show you the SharePoint list actually it's loading the information so we are done this place on screen 2 on the uh, select which is the right uh, arrow icon we will update a context will store gallery to selected uh, you know, table data that is the uh, delimited value if you see this one is the delimited value from SharePoint and split will because we know each row is separated by pipe I have covered this in detail in the previous lesson so you can go through this this is the exact same code I have copied and pasted the exact same code here and then we navigate to screen 3 okay so here we will do like this and on gallery 2 on click right click so let's go over the code once again quickly this is taking the gallery to selected item and the table data which is the delimited value the string it's converting it's splitting the with the pipe and converting into rows and then I'm doing a clear collection here 
table data and then for each array rows we are doing the split extracting the uh, one rows from it then taking the last element this is take extracting two rows and then taking the last element and the th three rows and extracting the uh, last element so this is uh, on the code and then on screen 3 let's see what we have to do on screen 3 yeah on screen 3 this gallery we have to assign it the collection this anything else remaining we will just put a, a refresh uh, icon but we don't need on each screen we will put uh, the button to go to uh, the screen uh, 2 so this uh, we put here screen 2 and this will uh, navigate screen 2 okay this is on screen 1 and uh, I'm only showing the concept I'm not trying to label the button and waste time there so you now select navigate navigate screen 2 okay so oh, what's wrong here navigate screen 2 okay huh? navigate error okay so at any point if we run uh, any screen we should be able to go to screen 2 so we select MCS if you see here we get all the data we go back and MP we get all the we load all the data now remember this delete will not work because we still have the code the, from the copy it's a copy paste thing man you got to change this to guess what collection table data and then it will start working we go back ATC we can remove one value okay we go back we are not saving it so it will come back again okay so this uh, is in short we have completed showing the uh, the information stored in our previous lesson we have stored the information in SharePoint uh, in this lesson we are retrieving the information based on this gallery we are selecting the value the data and showing it in this repeating table so once again this code I'll explain you a little bit more this uh, our steps yeah so we have added a vertical we have added a screen added vertical gallery and we have selected the data source the repeating section list which is our SharePoint list we have created a copy of screen one because it's the add screen the edit view screen or the edit screen will be very similar to it we name it name it to screen three then we put the you know the the title and the phone number we put based on the selected item then on the right uh, icon of the gallery the uh, right arrow icon or the select icon we store the table data in this variable we split it with the pipe to get each row and for all rows we have to clear the collection for before because we cannot uh, do a clear here so for each row we run this we split the element we have already seen this in the split uh, uh, lesson of the repeating section then we navigate to screen 3 yeah, I, and on screen 3 the uh, the data source we have to make sure that we change this to use the collection table data and then the last um, part we didn't add a refresh button because we can, you can always add a refresh button on the page to refresh it and then on every page we have added a navigate to screen 2 button and then on the trash we change the uh, the uh, collection name so that's it for this lesson